Z tej strony Miłosz, dzisiaj mamy specjalnego gościa. Przyjechał specjalnie na zawody, będzie sędziował Warsaw Challenge 2010. Yo, first of all, introduce yourself, tell us something about you. My name is B-Boy Flowmaster. I'm from Footwork Fanatics. I'm originally from Gaithersburg, Maryland, but I live in California right now, Sherman Oaks. For younger generation, uh, tell us something about yourself, like uh, when you first was in, when you was first introduced to B-Boying, to the culture, uh, who exposed you to the scene, uh, who gave you first inspirations and stuff, who, you, who schooled you. Well, when I first got introduced to this dance style b-boying, I was um, a house a um, house dancer, a freestyle dancer. And when I heard that Miss that Mr. Wiggles, Crazy Legs, and Pee Wee Dance was coming to judge a dance battle in Washington D.C., I was like, well, I got it because I love battle, and I'm like, I gotta go to this contest to meet these guys. So when I went to go do the contest, Crazy Legs and them did a um, a judge showcase. And when I saw Crazy Legs break, I'm like. I got to learn that style of dancing. So I asked Mr. Wiggles, what do I have to do to learn b-boying? Because at the time I thought it was called break dancing, but Wiggles schooled me and called it b-boying. And uh, cause the media gave that term break, um, gay break dancing. He said, if you really want to learn this dance style, you got to come to New York City. Well, I live in Washington DC. So that's like a four hour bus, a four hour bus ride. So every week I will travel up to New York City just to learn this dance. So finally I said, well, Lace, can I get into Rocksteady? He said, well, if you want to get into Rocksteady, you have to battle somebody from Rocksteady to get in. So I'm like, okay, well, who do I have to battle? And Crazy Lake said, you have to battle me. That was like 93. And me and Legs battled so many times and he destroyed me, destroyed me. But I think what they was trying to do was to see how dedicated that I was gonna be because at that at that time, Rocksteady at that time, when they put in members, they gave them a trial. They made them see if they was dedicated to the crew. So finally they let, they let me in and they was telling me about this guy named Prince Ken Swift. Now, I thought Legs was the best. Now, I'm not taking nothing from Crazy Legs. But when I saw Prince Ken Swift, that was my God. So ever since I met Prince Ken Swift, he's been my mentor and my teacher in B-Boy. Everything I know about breaking today is from Prince Ken Swift. You got into Rocksteady Crew, right? You started to dancing with uh, New York B-Boys, uh, hanging around and training with Prince Ken Swift. Did you choose your road? Did you split up with the New York scene? How was that? Oh, keep it quiet as told. I was given a choice to either stay with Rocksteady because at the time, Crazy Lake started a crew called the Crazy Commandos. So Ken Swift wanted to start a crew called Seven Gems. So I went with Ken Swift because he is my teacher and we more was a, a just a team. So, but I still was part of Rocksteady. Ken Swift was part of Rocksteady. Crazy Legs had the Crazy Commandos. He was part of Rocksteady. But Legs called me up and asked me, I have a choice, either be with Rocksteady or Seven Gems. And I'm thinking, I'm like, well, Seven Gems is part of Rocksteady. It's like, why would, why would you call and ask me that? He said, well, you have a choice. I said, well, see you later. I'm Seven Gems. And then I went from Seven Gems. I'm still, I'm still Seven Gems. And then when I did a show in, um, in um, Vegas with uh, Mr. Wiggles and everybody, uh, Miss, Mr. Wiggles made up a clique called Footwork Fanatics. So it was just a clique. It was just us just getting together and just being a clique. So finally, I took it seriously because I wanted to be part of a crew because I was no longer rock steady and Seven Gems was in New York and I was in Vegas. So I wanted a crew to call my own. So um, I was like, well, you know what, Wiggles, can I take Footwork Fanatics? And he was like, by, by all means, go. So I've been Footwork Fanatics Seven Gems ever since. You probably travel around the world a lot. People give you lots of respect around the world. Do you teach a lot? Like, uh, continue the legacy of Ken Swift? Yes, I teach. I teach a lot. Everything that I do teach is from Ken Swift. Footwork Fanatics was made from Ken Swift. Everything that Ken Swift 
taught me and what I'm teaching other people, that's what Footwork Fanatic stands for, the original style of b-boying and the dance. Kinsworth was really, really big on the dance. And that's one thing everybody in Footwork Fanatics is a dance and um, doing footwork. But the main thing that Ken Swift taught me when I was in seven gyms, and I want to make sure that Footwork Fanatics had the same thing, was being a family. I don't want people just to be in footwork fanatics because they are incredible footwork or they can dance incredible. I want them to be a good person. I want them to back us. If one of us get in trouble, they right there. You know, I I, I want to hang out with my crewmates. I don't want to just see my crewmates when it's time to battle. That's not a crew to me. The crew is when we go see movies, when, when somebody's rent need to be paid and we all chipping in and paying this guy's rent. To me, that's a crew and that's how Footwork Fanatics is. All of us would die for one another. We always, we don't even have to look at one another. When somebody jumps and battle us, we, I mean, I don't even have to say, yo, you got me. I don't even have to say that because it's on and that's a crew to me. This is B-Boy Flowmaster and you watching Deal TV.